Somebody call the law. Somebody call the law. It got to be illegal for me to be so wrong. What up, though? Heist man, the foe talk that talk, ghetto news and opinions, man. My maturity keeps coming into question about this situation right here, man. Y'all know what I'm talking about. The apology heard around the world. J. Cole apologized to Kendrick Lamar. They had a rap beef going on, whatever, blase, blase. Y'all know the details of it. He came out with a song. He came out with a song. But after he came out with a song saying, um, J. Cole, he got on stage and apologized in front of his crew, his fans. He did a show and I'm sorry, y'all. My bad. I'm sorry, Kendrick. And I'm saying my maturity is being called into question by my wife. She keep, cause I keep bringing this up. This is on my mind right now. Um, not the rap beef itself, but the, the apology part of it. I'm keep, I, you know, I'm real handsy today. I'm just, I'm going to choke a bitch. You know, y'all know what I mean though, man. I'm, I'm, she keep bringing my maturity into question about this. And this, it's been a whole lot of, you know, just, ugh, like, how you going to call me immature because of this? Yes. I understand this, that this is a grown man and. He need to apologize. Oh, nah, 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 nah. Not need. He a grown man. He wanted to apologize for something he felt was wrong. And, you know, and I've been hearing a lot of people being uplifting about this. Like, yeah, man, he doing the right thing. But this is rap beef. You understand? It's rap beef. You don't apologize in rap beef. Um, I've been seeing a lot of people come out, jumping out the window, defending this. This is, this is what my problem is. A lot of people defending the the apology like yeah man he did a good job like, like people like this Charlemagne the God Breakfast Club he do his thing man big shout out to him but he came out and gave like the world donkey of the day because everybody attacking J Cole for apologizing like bro you the same nigga that you a terror you didn't did so much shit to people made them cry can I get a drop? You got jumped, tried to almost all that. Like, man, everybody know your resume, man, and all the shit you done done. And you you deal with rappers a lot because they come up to the breakfast club, do their interviews, try to promote their shit and all that, blase, blase. But how are you going to be the, the voice of reason? You. Who else, man? Stephen A. Smith. I don't, I don't know how I want to address these, these dudes, man, about this. But you know what I'm saying? Like, he another one coming out on his platform saying that J. Cole did the right thing or he, they can, they not, not saying necessarily the right thing, but they are applauding his actions of apologizing, being a man. And like they, they keep bringing that up, being a man and all that stuff. And you, this is rap beef, nigga. Who else? Charleston White. When Charleston White first came out and said something like he uh, applaud him for that, it's like, I, I give him a, a little bit more than they do because I know he is an advocate out there trying to help people try to do his thing. I know that I, I, about him. He got his own ways and he always fucking with people and terrorizing people and all that stuff. But he do try to do good. So I can't give him that. But you were the same nigga last week going up against Gilly and talking about his dead son and literally saying those words. Your son dead nigga. Ha ha. Laughing and shit. But you want to Come on, man. Y'all understand what I'm saying, man. I don't know if y'all do. I hope y'all do. But y'all understand what I'm saying, man. Like, nigga, you was talking about this nigga's dead son. Not even a week ago. Laughing about it. And, and, and shit like this with, with Charlemagne the guy, Stephen A. Smith, Charleston White. These niggas, they make me feel like... They, they make me feel like the old nigga who didn't did it. And now they don't want to see nobody else do it. It's like... Yeah, man, we didn't, like, nigga, you done sold your dope shot, niggas did all this stuff, now you want to say, no, let them niggas crash out too. And that's what I'm saying with these dudes, man. This, I don't like this. That people want to defend it, like, ah, man, it's just a hard situation for me to understand, like, why people defending this nigga for apologizing. Like I say, even my wife calling me, like, you so immature, I'm like, yes, I am. I'm not mature enough to accept uh, the apology. Like, first of all, I, I'm grown. I understand that. I understand being a man and doing all this stuff and 
Righting your wrongs or whatever, how you want to say it. I get that. I know that. I know that. I am mature enough in that facet to understand that. Like, yes, you can repent your sins or whatever and come out and say, I, I apologize. You can't do that. But it's rap beef, nigga. You can't do that in rap beef. I hate that shit, man. Matter of fact, these niggas that's coming out and defending him, like, I, I, I want to see... Like the OGs say something. I want to see what the rappers have to say about. Because I ain't seen no rapper come out and do this shit they doing. I ain't saying they cooning. But I'm saying they like trying to. Try to sway. Like they they still trying to get invited to places like. These these, these brothers have big platforms. Um, Charlemagne the guy. Stephen A. Smith. I don't know man. It's just. It's, it's corny to me. Of them. It's corny of them to me that they coming out doing that like Stephen A. Smith I don't know what the hell happened to you bro you used to be the shit talking nigga on ESPN blase blase whatever cool um you got with Shannon Sharp that nigga done surpassed you yeah look at the numbers man he didn't surpass you he came from over there with Skip Bayless and he got with Stephen A. Smith and we thought it was going to be something. He going to be on ESPN. He ain't even up there like that. He got a podcast club, Shay Shay, whatever, interviewing everybody. I'm somebody who was doing big things before. Um, Before the Cat Williams interview. He was doing big shit then, before then, you know. But it seemed like that Cat Williams blew him up. But and Stephen A, he do YouTube also. He got a little podcast and shit. And I looked at it the other day. I seen it on. I said, damn, this thing only got 974 people watching. I mean, I only get like seven people watching me when I'm live. Eight sometimes, maybe nine, ten at the most. So I can't really talk about that, but big as your platform is, no diddy. Ugh, that ain't sound right. Your, big as your platform. Y'all know what I mean, though. He only had like 900 people watching, so. But but Stephen A. Smith, like, come on, man. Much shit you done talked about people and stuff, and I ain't never heard you apologize to nobody. Maybe you did. Maybe y'all do be apologizing and stuff. But I'm saying this hip hop, y'all ain't got no, y'all ain't got no, no, no horse in the race and in, in, in hip hop beef and telling like, I don't know, man. I I get it. I 100% get it. I get the point that niggas need to apologize or could apologize or should apologize, can apologize. It's the mature thing to do to apologize, but not me, man. <coughs> not no rap beef, man. Not in rap beef. I don't understand that, man. I ain't seen no OGs, no old, no old school rap niggas come out and say, like, apologize. Everybody keeps saying that. Tupac apologized, big. Jay-Z apologized. Shut up, nigga. I don't know if they did. Y'all say they did, I don't know. It wasn't as big as this. They, they apologized years later. Not 72 hours later. Um, Who else? Everybody waiting for Joe Buttons to say something. Um, I don't know. I don't really take his his hip hop expertise. That nigga was the one hit wonder, man. I don't really. I mean, I know he did other things with um, Slaughterhouse or whatever. That nigga, a good podcaster, great podcaster. Um, I guess I don't know. But I ain't listening to no damn Joe Buttons about. I, I listen to him if he on if he on the same side as me. <coughs> that sound unfair, but. I'm immature. I'm I'm not like I said. I'm not mature enough to to think that these. I don't know, man. I don't know if I'm explaining it to y'all the right way because I'm, I'm explaining it and I understand what I'm saying, but I don't know if y'all can understand. It's rap beef. It's about to come out of retirement, man. Look at this. It's about to come with the Foul Mouse Network Battle of the Beats Championship. Wow, I won this shit rapping. I'm retired. I might come back out of retirement, man. I won that shit like five years ago. Four, five years ago, man. I used to rap. I did all my rap shit, too. And, um, I, you know, I ain't never do nothing with it. Probably eat some steak earlier, man. I got a little in my nail teeth. Ah. Y'all understand what I'm saying, though. I did some rapping and shit, and I won that accolade. And I, I retired. Farewell. It was over with. I'm done. Might come out of retirement, though, man. 
I can come out and talk shit about people and apologize and people can accept it. Y'all accepted it, man. I don't understand how y'all accept this, man. We know that J. Cole and Kendrick Lamar, this was never going to be no outlandish, hardcore, shoot em up, bang, bang, beef. We know that. Everybody's saying, oh, man, it's just verbal warfare. It's just, you know, they sparring a little bit. Niggas was ready to jump out the window last week. Ready. Oh, yeah, yeah. We, let's do this. We, we ready. We ready. His his fans was. And soon he apologized. It was like, oh, he's mature. If he's a good guy, he should be doing. No. Rap, man. Rap beef. Don't apologize. Like I said, I'm not mature enough. My wife keep asking me, like, because I keep bringing it up, like, yo, how, how how do you do this? How do you apologize in a rap altercation? You can't do it. This shit is really fucking with me, y'all. Because like I said, my maturity has been called into question. She telling me that you want to see people just, yes. You want to see people die? No, I ain't say die. I just want to see a little bit more oomph into it the maturity i'm not mature enough man i'm gonna keep using that word mature 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 i'm not mature enough i am mature enough to understand and know what they're talking about but in the parameter or the realm of rap beef you can't you can't she telling me that maybe this is going to lead into something else and it's going to teach the youth for the no, nobody, I don't know, man. I just want to say, man, these dudes right here, Charlemagne the guy, he giving out donkey of the day to everybody else when you was a fucking terror yourself. Stephen A. Smith, you didn't talk so much shit about niggas. You a terror. Um, Charleston White, you condoning it. Like I said, I gave you the pass at the beginning until I thought about it. It was like, yeah, because you do. You do be trying to, you do be trying to do that shit. And try to bring motherfuckers together and shit. Fighting for the better the better bit. You don't fuck with the gangs and drug dealers and killers and all that stuff. You do fight against that. But then you talking all that shit this last week about another man's dead son. Saying like, like you call your son live, nigga. Like, yo, I'm finna call my son. You can't do this. You can't call your son because he dead. Like, apologize and see them niggas still don't shoot your ass when you go to Philly. Since you want to in an apologetic mood, nigga. I'm telling you, man, this shit ain't over with for me. I'm going to talk about this shit every single day. Because I ain't mature, nigga. <laughs> I go live with each other every Friday at Die People talk about shit just like this. Y'all got to come through it. I'll let me, man. The opinions I say do not reflect of my co-host, Prem Dylan Charlene Defoe. But. What I say, I mean it, man. I don't care. <coughs> <coughs> what I say, I mean, man. And this shit got me, it got me messed up because I'm sitting there looking like, come on, man. How y'all gonna not be on the side of hip-hop? <coughs> and that's why people saying hip-hop dead because you can come out 72 hours and apologize for some shit you did wrong. Like, might delete later. You said it, hey. Big shout out to you. You did say might delete later. But might apologize later was not on the damn bingo list. I I need to see I need to see the old school rappers, the old heads. I need to see everybody who's in the rap beef before. I need to see the Nazis. I need to see um Ice Cube. Anybody who had a rap beef, y'all know the rap beef hasn't been out, man, forever. We can, I mean, like, come on, man. They need to come. I ain't heard no hip hop big head. Ugh, no big leader of hip-hop come out and say he did right by apologizing like i said and the niggas coming out saying they they condone him apologizing they they all for it and applauding him man fuck y'all man flat out just fuck y'all hip-hop dead nigga and there's niggas like this killing it and i re used to reside in north carolina i know <laughs> come on man it ain't it ain't against cole i fuck with j cole i fuck with kendrick Drake, all them rappers, all, huh, the soft rappers, the floral shirt rappers. Um, y'all see them, man. Y'all know how they dress and look, man. These niggas ain't wearing do rags and scullies and black t shirts and shit, mean faces and shit. I know they soft. I know it. We know it. Uh, soft niggas. And we didn't just, oh, 
don't well, I don't expect nobody to get hurt and kids shot, stabbed, shanked, all that shit. But I just didn't expect no apology either. And that's what it was all boiling down to. I just can't get over the fact that I I, I can't I, it's just something about it is just oh I can't get over the he apologized, man. And I can't I just I just hate worse. The part I hate the most, the part I do not like the most is niggas jumping out the window saying he did a good job, he did a good thing. Do you like do you do you fucking really believe that, Mr. Stephen A. Smith, Charlemagne the guy, Charleston White, do y'all really and if y'all do believe it, it don't matter because who the fuck are y'all? Y'all ain't hip hop. Y'all are voices. Y'all are fucking YouTubers, podcasters and shit like that. I don't have an opinion. I mean, I used to rap, so I do got a little bit more authority than y'all. I don't care who y'all been around, who y'all know. I used to rap. I ain't apologizing, no rap. Nigga, I had a baby on my first baby mama. <laughs> and I ain't apologizing, huh, nigga? I had a side baby and I ain't apologize to her so shit <coughs> I'm wrong man <laughs> anyway man like I said I go live on the channel every Friday at 9pm talking about shit just like this I just gotta come through and holler at me man hit that like button the comment button the share button the subscribe button the notification bell all them good buttons you gotta hit to get this pimping that I'm putting out when I put it out and like I said I go live before Every Friday at 9 p.m. Come through, join the conversation. Holler at your boy. Tell me, are you mature enough to apologize or not? Because I ain't. I ain't apologizing for shit. I stand on business. This is a dangerous group. Is it groups that we're dealing with now? All right. This time... But I'll be back, and sooner than you think. Wherever there's prejudice, ignorance, inequality, I'll be there.